Number 1. Gwalior Fort Known as the pearl amongst fortresses in India, the impenetrable Gwalior Fort has witnessed many wars and events. Standing tall atop a rocky mountain, this architectural marvel spreads over an area of 3 square kilometers and is visible from all the corners of the city. There are several attractions inside the fort including palaces, temples and water tanks and it might take almost a day to explore the place. Number 2. Gujari Mahal Museum Built by Raja Man Singh Tomar, this 15th century palace museum is located inside the Gwalior Fort. Gone through the test of the time, this archaeological museum will give you an insight into the history of the city and its rulers. The rare collection of sculptures displayed here are the highlight of the museum. You will also see a terracotta item, stone and copper plate inscriptions, coins, bronze sculptures, arms and weapons, replicas of bark cave, paintings and excavated material in its exhibits. Number 3. Gwalior Zoo Gwalior Zoo is a must-visit place for wildlife lovers and a great place to spend the weekend with kids and family. The zoological park was built by the royal family in the year 1922 and is spread in an area of 8 hectares. It is home to various rare animal species including a white tiger and other like hyena, golden pheasant, black buck, bison and spotted deer. Number 4. Saas Bahu Temple Located inside the Gwalior Fort, the Saas Bahu Temple has ornately carved temples made in red sandstone. The larger one is devoted to Lord Vishnu and the smaller one to Lord Shiva. Unlike what the name suggests, this temple is actually named after Sahastra Bahu and another name of Lord Vishnu, King Mahipala of Kachapagata dynasty constructed this temple in the 11th century. Number 5. Jai Vilas Palace If you are interested in witnessing the armors from the era of Shah Jahan and Aurangzeb to the freedom movement during the reign of Rani Lakshmi Bai, then head to Jai Vilas Palace. This well-preserved partial monument was built by Jayaji Rao Skindia, who was once the Maharaja of Gwalior. The palace sprawls its regal branches over an area of 75 acres and it serves as a grand resident to the descendants of Jayaji Rao Sindhya as well as a huge museum constituting to 235 rooms. Number 6. Splash the Sun City Park with more than 10 water rides and around 18 amusement rides, Splash the Sun City Park is the ultimate fun destination in Gwalior. The electrifying joy rides and splashing pools have the power to keep you cheerful and excited throughout the day. People who have visited this park praise it for its value for money experience. Number 7. Sun Temple the construction of this magnificent temple dates back to the year 1988 by the renowned industrialist G.D. Birla. The temple is dedicated to Sun God and the architecture is inspired by the world's famous Sun Temple in Konark. The sculptures and the edges are carved out of marbles and red sandstone, giving it a unique appearance in contrast with the lush green garden that encircles the temple. Sun Temple is one of the sacred places to visit in Gwalior for devotees. Number 8. Teli Ka Mandir Telika Mandir, also known as Telika Temple, is a Hindu temple located within the Gwalior Fort in Madhya Pradesh, India. Dedicated to Shiva, Vishnu and Matrikas, it has been variously dated between the early 8th and early 9th century CE. It is an atypical design for the Hindu temple as it has a rectangular sanctum instead of a typical square. It integrates the architectural elements of the Nagara style and the Vallabhi Parasada that looks like the Dravedian wagon wall topped Gopuram superstructure. Number 9. Pagara Dam Whether you want to indulge in photography, adventure or you just want to spend a day away from the hub hub of the city life in the middle of the nature, Pagara Dam is your ultimate retreat. Located on Asan River, this dam is an ideal place in Gwalior where you can come with family or friends and spend some quality time together and is one of the best places to go for a bike trip in Madhya Pradesh. Number 10. Tomb of Tansen The Tomb of Tansen, which is famous as Tansen Memorial, is an obvious choice among the many Gwalior tourist places. Tansen was a pioneer of Gwalior Gharana in Hindustani classical music during the reign of Mughals. He was an ardent follower of the Sufism and learned Dagas from the, his teacher Muhammad Ghaz. The tomb has a simple architecture in Mughal archetypal. Tansen was buried in the same complex as Muhammad Ghaz and this complex is famous as Tansen Memorial where the national level music festival is organized in the months of November and December. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.